Today we're looking at the MX Master 3. I got this for Christmas off a relative. No idea of the price point. I'll probably put it somewhere here in post editing. Hey, this is Shane from the future just to say that this mouse is going for $99.99. Claims to have ultra fast scrolling, super speed. You can see there, nice design. Yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do here is try to unbox it. All right, we've got it open. You know, I never really understood un unboxing videos, but I kind of get it now. It's kind of fun. Um, there you go, there it is in the box. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Be careful, it falls right out. I don't know if there's somewhere to put the USB thing. The USB bit was separate, but it looks very fancy. The bottom sticker here is kind of to help you out. It gives you some instructions, but I think you can just take that off. Yeah, there's nowhere to put this, which is a little bit annoying, but um, that's okay. But yeah, let's just plug it in and see how it responds. That's what I'm interested in. See if I can just plug and play. Yeah, we're setting up USB receiver. Very good. But I guess I have to switch it here at the bottom to actually turn it on. So now it's on option one. Don't know what that means though. It gives me like it lights up at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but here lights up in one, two, three. Oh, well, we got a bit of a setup. So we recommend installing the option software. Yeah, sure, install, why not? And downloading. Wow, never had to wait so long to download software for a mouse, which is, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's a mouse, you know, <laughs> but maybe it's a really good one. So it is plug and play. So I mean, I can use it even though this is downloading and you can actually, it looks like you can plug it directly in as well here at the front. So maybe there's actually a wire. Yes, there is a wire. So there's the wire. Um, it came in this little box with a sort of instruction set of how it's uh, assembled. So I'm guessing the wire is to charge it. So that's good, actually, the fact that it doesn't rely on batteries. Currently, I'm using the Sandstorm, but it requires batteries. Now, it's very fast, very responsive, considering how much I paid for it. But, it, you know, you have to put batteries in every so often, and that's not good. So this one has a rechargeable one. That's good. Response is pretty good, pretty smooth. I like it. <laughs> and like I thought, they're asking me for uh, analytical data. I mean, what do you need to analyze about a mouse? I don't know, I guess it makes sense. You want to know how users are getting along with it, but mm, no thanks. Because everything these days has telemetry, I guess. So there's this website, mouseaccuracy.com. Let's see what that's about. Oh, 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 that's quick. That's quicker than my mouse is. Can I change the speed on this thing? Ah, this is stressful. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. So there's this a button here you press. You get the the endless scroll where you just spin the wheel and it keeps going. And then you have this and then you click it and then it goes nice and slow. And that's really good because uh, for gaming purposes, if you're playing a shooting game, you want to change weapon, you usually use your scroll. Or even if you're just going through a menu slowly, even on your browser. The side buttons, I haven't assigned them to anything, but I guess that would be handy for something. But I'm not really into using the side buttons. I don't, it's not intuitive for me, but it's there if you need it. And these buttons on the side, which I didn't know what they did earlier, are just basically for back and forward movement. And the thumb wheel is for, yeah, gentler scrolling with your thumb, I guess to make it a little bit easier. Thing for your thumb that's very comfortable. Uh, and it's nice and big and it has a bit of weight behind it. The only thing is maybe it could be a little bit more comfortable on the hand, but I do have quite a long fingers, so that could just be me. Better than your standard mouse, better than something like this. And this this one was, this one's not bad, but it doesn't have the extra few bits, such as the batteries. And this responsiveness seems a little bit better just from my first glance at it, so. 